So the first thing I want to do is to come to my Edge browser and just type in the address bar, create a free Azure account and press enter. And it's going to bring this option, Microsoft Azure, get your free account. So I'm going to click on that. All right. So once I come to the page to create my free Azure account, before clicking on start free, I just want to come down and see some of the free features that will be available for me. So the first thing is that when you create your free Azure account, it's going to have 200 United States dollars credit on it. So that's part of the free. And then there are 55 other services that will always be free. And then there are popular services that will be free for the first 12 months. So make sure to click on, for example, click on 12 months free service to see what are the services that are available to you for the first 12 months free. And then also what are the services that are always free. So I'm just going to click on view all services that are always free. So for the always free, we have Azure Virtual Machine Windows. We can have our Azure Virtual Machine Learners. We can have Azure SQL Database, Azure Blob Storage, Azure Cosmo DB, Azure App Service, Azure Functions, Azure Event Grid. So these are different services that will always be free. And you can also come and say, see all free services. So when you click on it, it's going to give you a full blown list of all of the free services that you will have available to you. So with that being said, I'm just going to click on X to close this. And then I will go up and click on start free. So when I click on start free, I have the option to log in with an existing Microsoft account. So that will be either a Hotmail account or a Skype account or your telephone number, or it could also be an Outlook account, right? Or if you don't have a Microsoft account, you can just create an account. So what I'm going to do right here now is to create an account. So I'll click on create one. So I'm just going to put WA Wilfred Andrew and then Delamine at hotmail.com. I love hotmail.com. But you have the option to either choose outlook.com or hotmail.com. So I'll keep it to hotmail.com. Use whatever is convenient for you. I'll click on next. So it asked me to set up a password. So I'm just going to create a password. And I'm being asked if I would like to receive information, tips, and other offers from Microsoft about their products and services. I'm just going to keep that check because I love to receive the different offers and just see the different services and tips that they have. But if it is something that you don't want to opt in for, you can always deselect it. I'm going to just select it for my purposes and click on Next. So it's going to ask me to pick my birth date. It automatically detected my region. I'm currently located in Canada. So I'm going to put in my birth date and I'm going to click on next. So you can do that and click on next. So after putting in my birth date, I click on next and I'm brought to this screen to prove my identity. So it says, please solve the puzzle so we know you are not a robot. So I'll click on next. So I'm machine three with this icon that look like a bag. So the bag is here and then three is here. I'm going to submit. Five with something that looks like a wash. So five. So right now it has something like an ice cream cone. I'm just going to match it up. Yes, match with the wash and submit. So the next thing I'm going to do is to just fill this form with all of my information. So I'm going to let you to do that. I'm going to pause the screen and do that.
After filling that form, it brings me into the next screen to verify my card information. So as it says right here, you wouldn't be charged unless you move to appear as you go pricing. So this is just to verify my identity. So make sure you go ahead and fill this and then click on next. So I'm going to do that. So the next thing I've been prompted to do is to set up multi-factor authentication for my email address. So I'm just going to click on next and I'm going to set up the multi-factor authentication. So I have the option to either use a phone number or to use an alternative email. So I'm going to, to set up my phone number and use it. So make sure to pick an option there and set it up as per your requirements and then click on next. All right, so after doing all the verification with my multi-factor authentication, I have successfully logged in. So it tells me you are ready to start with Azure. So I will just click on go to Azure portal. All right, so I have logged into the Azure portal. So just from the get go, Microsoft has a few things that we can go through. So kind of like a guided tutorial for us. So you have one, get started in the Azure portal. So the next thing is to get more from your free account. And and then that's the first two projects that falls on navigating the Azure portal and your free account. And then the next thing is to start a project. So start creating like your resources, selecting the region, and I come to managing and pricing, which is very important so that you don't overspend. So it has to do with setting up your cost alert and those kind of things. And then the next thing is to create and deploy your first virtual machine and then to create and deploy other services like app service or create your SQL database. Those are things that we will eventually go through. But for now, this is how you set up your free Azure account. So I'm just going to close this multi-factor authentication requirement. I will do that later. And then I can click on home and then it brings us to the home of our Azure portal. All right, so we are at the home of our Azure portal. So this brings an end to this video. The next video, we're going to take a look at the Azure portal, find our way around, take a look at the interface and see where things are located. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. If you love this video, like it. If you have a question or feedback, leave them in the comment section down below. Share this video with someone who will find it useful and make sure to feel free to go around on our playlist. We have other videos on Linux and on Windows Server 2019 and 2022 and Windows Server 2025. So make sure to take a look at some of those as well. But without further ado, take care and I will see you in the very next video. Bye.